What's going on beautiful people? Welcome back to another MD Fish Tanks build video. The tank behind me is what we're going to be building in a few days. I've got Fish Shop Matt turning up, but we're not even ready. I might as well get it prepared. So off camera, I've repainted all the stands so it all looks really nice and fresh. Uh, the background is still sort of half on. I've fitted the light we're going to be using, which is the Super Fish um, thing. Let me check. The Superfish 131, so it's basically the four foot size one. Yeah, real tidy look, plenty of light that's gonna be as well. I do need to get this off, but the problem is, every time I pull it, it keeps sort of snapping, so I think I need to get some heat on it. Yeah, that's working so much better. It's not snapping at all now. Right, there we go. Our tank background's off. That was actually a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be, but we got there in the end. The tank is still completely filthy, though. It does need a clean up. All these sort of old watermarks and that is fine. I've got the razor blade. It's the only real tool for this job, to be honest. Yeah, this is the one that we want. Perfect. I think it's meant for like oven glass or just windows in general. So it works perfect for our aquariums. Okay, so rather than boring you with a montage of me cleaning the tank, I've just cleaned it up. It's all ready to go. All I'm waiting for now is Matt to arrive. It's been a while since he's been here and I'm really excited to show him the studio and plus the tank that we recently did together, which is looking so good as well. This will be the second tank that we've done together. So every time we do it, it, it turns out great because we've used both of our ideas and we, we sort of reaffirm everything we're saying and come up with like extra little bits of input that just makes the whole thing way better together. Look at this. Look who has arrived. Dun, dun, dun. He was late. No, I wasn't. You arrived. Bit. You arrived precisely when you wanted to. Absolutely. Meant to. <laughs> yeah, it's that wizard's beard, Gandalf style. That's what it is. <laughs> and just as Matt's arrived, um, some plants have also arrived. So from Aquafleur, basically, I ordered every single type of boost that they do. Look at the size of that. They're good, aren't they? They man? are great. Like that's just a full pot of booster philandra. Like you can't get any more in there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I ordered every single one, and I just thought for the, even for this. A tank we're going to be doing how cool will it look yeah to have just them dotted all over the rocks and that because i want to go for a real natural vibe no nice. i haven't spoke about it yet but yeah, oh, yeah so here is oh, the tank <laughs> <laughs> we'll sort of talk about it as we go but yeah. um, so here is our our tank map all cleaned up we've got the superficial light i've already said this to the audience but for you um, that's the new one uh, okay yes the extendable one yeah nice yep and they didn't have it in that size but now they do um but look you can't really see because there's nothing in it, but it's lighting the tank up really nicely, isn't it? It is really bright, isn't it? Really good. So what I'm thinking is peninsula tank, it obviously makes sense to do a triangular composition because, you know, it's yep. got to, and it's got to come out from that corner. Yeah. Now, what about if we, there's no other real way let's, to do let's it. Let's change it up. Let's escape it the other way around. Let's go from this end that way. How <laughs> could it look from here? Just a pile of rubbish on the yeah. end. No, so I'm thinking like, not only do I want it to be sort of mounded here, tapering down to the river's edge sort of thing. Yeah. Um, I have done that before, actually. I'll put a clip up now of my last peninsula one, which was the pearl weed one. <laughs> it was just pearl weed everywhere. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, it did yeah. look good, actually, and that would look good in this situation. But screw cutting, trimming that all the time. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely not. So I'm thinking we build like up in this area and then I could also get some nice bits of wood coming out the top. Smart, yes. And I've got some um, peace lilies, some nice ferns and stuff over in the archfish tank, which does need to be taken down. Yeah. Um, I can use those plants just to build up this area here. Absolutely. Plus we've got the light then from the window, which will really help um, with growing those plants and just bring another element to the whole thing, yeah? Yeah, no, I think that's gonna be, work really, really well. I think we should get started. Let's do it. We need, first of all, a substrate system. So in this tank here, which is the one that we did recently, this is the better sorority tank. We used the, uh, what was it, the, the flora, hang on. Flora base? <laughs> it was flora, but you know all the stuff, don't you? Yeah, I uh, think Down here in my shop. Let's go in the shop, man. Nutri base. Should we go in my shop? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so this is the one that we used before, and it seems to have worked so well in other tanks, so I think we should use it now. Yeah. For you. Oh. <laughs> okay, should we uh, do this like before? <laughs> what, just everywhere? <laughs> yeah, just cut it up. I don't know why I'm using this scraper. Yeah, that's not the best of tools. <laughs> yeah. Well, we didn't need the scraper to be sharp for cleaning the tanks anyway. <laughs> no. 
Every time I uh, use this, I have to put a new blade in because I've done something rubbish. You've like done something stupid with it, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> yeah, so this is not a sponsored video or anything, but this is the Nutri Base, and it's basically crushed lava, rocks, and quartz. I don't know why. Um, and just a ton of nutrients, and it seems to have worked so well that we're going for it again. Yeah, it is a great stuff. And beneficial bacteria. Remember? Oh, yeah, that We read about it, yeah. that, didn't we? Yeah, Powdered that... beneficial bacteria in there. Like dormant stuff, isn't yeah, it? Essentially. Yeah, essentially. So that when the water hits it, in theory, it comes to life and starts breaking down waste in the aquarium. Which I mean, is cool. That kind of makes sense as to why that tank... I mean, that kind of makes sense as to why that tank has not had any spikes in anything at yeah. all. I mean, we recycled substrate. Yep. This is really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we recycled substrate in this one over here. And we also had a filter running, to be fair, but it didn't have this amount of fish in it, but it still did so well. So, yeah. you know, really impressed with this product. And if it grows the plants in here, anything like they're growing in this one, then we're on to a winner. Looks so good, doesn't it? Yeah, are you pleased with it? Oh, yeah. Like... Does it, it looks different to when you left. What, oh, what God. That? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the reds have now born more poppy and they're coming up and you've got those big sort of hits of red. And there's a lot of plants that are now starting to settle in that are a little bit bigger. So yeah. it's really nice. Yeah, the, the, uh, all, all of the Ludwigia is just like double, if not triple, the yeah. size. And um, this, this new leaf on this boost is amazingly yeah. like pinky orangey sort of colour. It's Isn't like it? he's trying to copy the Ludwigia. <laughs> the stress stripes, Matt, the stress stripes. Uh, they're okay. Okay. Yeah. They're juveniles. Everyone was having a go saying, you're clearly, they're all under stress. Um, but like you say, juveniles, they have that. Yep. Especially, and Martin said, especially with the natural coloration, coloration of some of them, this they show the, for even more. Yeah, that's it. You know, you'll find that if you've got some of the more um, sort of messed around with varieties, they aren't going to show those stripes. A lot of the sort of whiter colorations don't show those stripes ever. Um, so it is, it's, it's a tricky one, but the sort of more wild strains like these guys are always going to show those stripes, even yeah, most of the time through their juvenile life. Plus, when the two of us have stood here, camera right in it, I mean... <laughs> yeah, well, here you go. This is the one I like. So her stress stripes, supposedly but they're um, wonky so they're not stress stripes that's coloration look you can see how she's got like almost morse code going down through her body oh i see what you mean so if it was if it was stress, stress they would still be stripes they would be actual stripes whereas you can see it's coloration because they're actually wiggly and she was my favorite actually she was the one that i pointed out when i first sort of started yeah, I remember catching them saying, out i remember you saying because it's just different isn't yeah it, it is you, anyway, we're not here for them. Yeah, we're not. We're, we're doing this tank. <laughs> we've literally got a tank we've to crack on. We got distracted. <laughs> right. This goes in, and then I need to, we'll go upstairs and get the substrate because I've got this whole huge amount of sand I want to go on. Got it down here ready. No, oh, it's heavy. I needed your help. I'm broken. I can't help. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's way heavier than it's, it needs to be. <laughs> yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> So here is our substrate from another tank. It's like a complete mixture of so many different things, but that should work really well. It's a little bit dirty as well, but that's, you know, it's gonna to add to all the beneficial natural. bacteria. Yeah, it's natural. <laughs> um, on top of this though, we're gonna put some of the uh, pond, uh, pond soil? Yeah, yeah pond soil. Pond yeah. compost, pond, pond soil. Pond compost, yeah. yeah. So put that on top, just like we did over there, because it's a winning formula. And then we can get all the sand on top that will cap and hold that down. And the pond soil, Matthew, mm -hmm. is out here oh. because I was like why waste you know space in the studio yeah when I can just it's either this one or the other one there it is oh my word perfect that's top soil. oh but people are gonna steal that's it that's topsoil that's not what we want you want this one <laughs> good job you're the here the one with the pond on that's it. the one <laughs> yeah okay cool let's do this one. <laughs> oh, we've got a jug in here yep yep accidental but a juggernaut pebble Oh. Okay, get a couple, couple of scoops of that going in. Where are we going? On top of the Nutri base? Yeah. Start at the back and we'll just push it sort of forward. Matthew, I'm not sure that you need the sunglasses in here. Oh no. Well, I've not got them on, have I? I could. <laughs> you just looked up like they were. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel them on my head. I think you should keep them on the whole. Like the that whole video. Continuity now. No, like actually on. Oh, on. I can. Like the whole, the whole video. It just looks like I'm drunk though. It just looks like I've been on a heavy night out and I'm trying to disguise the fact, isn't it? <laughs> That's true, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now this one, again, not a sponsored video, but I'm gonna tell you the products I'm using. And just like before, I'm going to API root tabs 
Uh, there's six left here, so I'm going to crush those up and just sprinkle those all over the surface of uh, the soil. I mean, it's probably a nutrient overload, but it's, <laughs> it's better to have more than not enough. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's one of those things, isn't it? I think you're better off going for it while you can. That's that. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whilst you, before you cap it all down. I mean, you can add root tabs at a later date, but if you've got the opportunity to do it all now, then you might as well go for it. I mean, there is going to be a lot of nutrients in there, Matt, but <laughs> it's all good. It's, it's all good. It's going to grow well. <laughs> I'm not even putting that many plants in here either. <laughs> Yeah, but we say that every time. Yeah, there is going to be a lot. We say that every uh, time. And you've got to remember, you're going to have the plants, the epiphytes coming out the top. That's so their true. roots are going to zap up nutrients like there's no tomorrow yeah. out of the water. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Okay, all right. <laughs> it's all good. It's you all feel better now. It's all justified. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> i tell you what, it's so nice to have a work surface to be able to do stuff on. It's quite good, isn't it? And not being like cramped in, you know? I did like it when I walked in. I do like this space. It makes so, life easier. Because like I was saying to Matt as well, because there's no like power going to it, I'm hopefully, fingers crossed, not going to fill it with tanks. Says the man who likes Wildstad. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't need, well, we've got the lights Lighting, above it. Yeah. And you've got a bit of ambient light, so it might be, but oh, no, you're not allowed. Honestly, when the um, midday, it's really nice and bright here. Yeah. It's going to cause algae. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, that's, that's, that's all we need to do for the substrate system, I think. And then we can just cap it all off with this sand now. And on top of that, we can put all of our detail. You're probably not going to see any of the sand by the time we've you know, no. put, put a few else rocks on. and some plants and some things in there. Yeah. yeah, okay, but it's it's perfect amount for just locking all that down. Otherwise, this is going to be all floating in the water column. And then it will be a proper biotope. <laughs> really murky, muddy water. No, you can't say biotope. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, because uh, that people... soil's definitely that... not from Australia yeah. or wherever your rainbows are from. I can't remember what rainbows you've got now. You know what people get if you say the word biotope? <laughs> biotope style. Uh, I think you'll find that's <laughs> not a biotope. <laughs> Well, we've collected up some rocks, and these are nowhere near big enough for the sort of height Fine. and impact we want. Yeah, exactly. We've got yeah. a lot of height to get up. I want just chunkiness in this whole area. Got so the wood as well, remember? Oh yeah, and the wood, yeah. So we can build up in amongst it with that. That's true. Oh, the wood's down here, Matt. We've already got it ready. Nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> we've got some good pieces. Not so much that manzanita, but go for the spot. Well, it could work. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, see how it works in. That might be cool coming down into it, maybe. That's true, yeah. So this is why you're here. Yeah. Little comments like that. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> but also, on top of these rocks down here, we've got some really, really big ones outside. Yeah, so I kept these out here so they didn't take out a ton of space <laughs> sort of in the studio. Yeah, nice. Um, Mix yeah, a few of them in. Even if you don't see them, they'll build up that sort of base. Yeah, they'll give you that height in the back, won't they? Yeah. Let's go. Pick them up, stick them in. Do you want to bring those big ones in first? Yeah. We'll be all right. One more? Yeah, I think so. Either laid down there or on top, but no, we can put other stuff on top, can't we? Yeah, I think. Have you got a flat side? Oh, that... I say leave a small gap and we can put something in between them. Yeah. That looks cool. It's going to look wicked, <laughs> isn't it? I was just saying to Matt, look, even that looks cool. But it looks great. But if you come down this side, come down oh. here, Matt, it's perfectly straight line. Oh, yeah. So we... if that front one can sort of go twisted. Yeah, so he'll come over this way. Potentially. Try the other way. Other way? Yeah, more like that. I think yep. that works. We can put something underneath as well. Yeah, we'll put a rock underneath or something to keep him up. In fact, come further this way. Yeah. Because there's a big open gap in front. I think, anyway, you can come and see as well after. Yeah, I think that looks better. Separated from the oh, other yeah, two nice. a bit more. Yeah, that brings it off to the right, doesn't it? And we can fill this gap with anything, really. We've yeah. Got all those other stones. Cool, it's coming along. Yeah, let's just keep going. Just whatever you want, Matt. I always trust what you're going to go with as well. Now that that frame is there, Everything else should just sort of fall into place. I want it proper rough looking, like proper... Bottom of a riverbed. Yeah, like stuff is just piled in. Yeah. It doesn't need to be 
Perfect. Oh, I've got some beauties here. That big boy's nice, isn't it? Look at the colours in that. Although, can that big one go with it, you reckon? Yeah, I was wondering that. Do you want to get that height up? Yeah. I wonder if he'll go. Nice. Not going anywhere. No. Oh, we're liking it, aren't we, Matt? It's looking great. Like, that's, that's what I, I want, that, that real rough look. And I don't know if you noticed on the time lapse there, but we're just chucking stuff down. I'm sort of imagining, like, the river's just deposited it. But at the same time, need to be conscious that we need space for plants to go in as well. Uh, we've got the wood. We've got the wood to go on now. Yeah. But this is where I really want it to take that sort of flowy look. I mean, technically, that's the riverbank. Yep. And that is the water flow. In theory, yeah, yeah. You could be going that way, yeah. But we can't really have the wood go <laughs> no, going that way. No, we need so a bigger tank. Need a need, yeah, tank. you need a massively wide... Oh, the Stingray tank yeah, could do that. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. You could do it one edge that's... Yeah. Uh, we're not doing that now, though. No. <laughs> but that is an idea, isn't it? <laughs> that's a future project. Okay, so yeah. So instead of going that way with the wood, which is where the water actually be flowing, we're going to go that way. <laughs> Purists are going to go mad. You know? <laughs> I think they'll be all right. I've, as long as it looks good. It does look good so far, doesn't it? Really nice. Very, very dinosaur eggy. <laughs> yes, yeah. Oh, check out Matt's new merch, by the way. It's quite cool. Oh, my neon t-shirt, yeah. Neon. Neon. <laughs> you can find that on his channel and click the links in his... Yeah, there. There, at the bottom of his channel <laughs> thing. Videos, you know what I mean? There's a button somewhere. People know how to do it. I think they do, don't they? Yeah, I think they do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's a banner underneath his videos, yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah, anyway, let's put the wood in. Yeah, so put, if you start with that piece. I love this bit, weirdly. I, I've got to move this stuff, Matt. I'm just tripping over everything. Yeah, you don't really, when you've got a camera, you don't really look what you're doing, do you? No. <laughs> okay, tell me what you, what you, I know what you was thinking, but I want you to do, let's see if you do what I'm thinking. I don't thinking. think I can, though. I think it's got too much of a curve in it. Ah, yeah, you could angle it. That's what I'm wondering, if you can angle it to one side. So my thought is, if it can go yes. like this. Already. But I think it's already too long. No, okay. that, that works. We can raise we can raise it a little bit there so that it's got a little bit more height, or maybe it didn't need it. Maybe that can be the thing. Yeah, maybe it is. Low I'm just down. Saying, look at me saying like that's the big bits of wood we've got. I, f I keep forgetting, Matt. Look around well, yeah. the studio. This is it. There are more. <laughs> There's so many big bits. Of, that, that bit's cool, but it'll kill anything that it goes in with. Yeah. <laughs> you do need wood. to start soaking that one now for next year. year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's also this. This beast up here that was in the uh, previous Roma fish tank, so that could work. There's a whole sort of log that's fallen in. Yeah, 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 like a river's washed it down sort of thing. Yeah, and look how far I am from you. So much walking nowadays. Yeah. Okay, then I'm thinking with this monster piece, Matt. Yeah. Potentially, right, you take that bit, because that's got angle, and I've got this bit. Now, I need to try and get this in without it taking the light out. Yeah, that <laughs> is going to be an issue. Oh, no, 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 we could do this. I mean, I can move the light, but where's the fun in that? I'll hold on to the light. <laughs> or move it. <gasps> oh. Something like that? Yeah, yeah. Be quite cool. I need more height, but I need it so that it doesn't interfere with the uh, light. So what the light about, can still... I know this is a big one, but if you lift yeah. yours up slightly... Yeah. I don't know if that's going to be too aggressive. I it's mean, good from this side. I'm not sure what it's like from your side. The other side's quite dark. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. But that's the light, all right. There could have be you a... got another four foot light? <laughs> yeah, we've got two, I've got, I've got like five of them over there. There's potential for two, isn't there? Because you could bring that over to this side and then have another one on that side. Hang on, let me show the audience what you're saying. Like, that looks absolutely insane. Are we taking up too much swim room, though? Because yeah. it's Rainbow peninsula. fish are mostly lake fish, so they're not you know, fast swimmers really. So they'd be absolutely fine with some hidey spaces. Yeah, they'll go in and out of this to be fair, wouldn't mm. they? Like there's so many gaps to come in and out, but this side's a little bit darker. So I think, and if we add a second one. Oh, I'll just hold that now. I, do I haven't have, just knocked the wood over. I've actually got loads of them sat over here ready to go. Um, and I've also got this one on here that I can take off and stick a I think it's worth it. Because that looks so blinking cool. I come on come here, look yeah, at the straight lines. This. Oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> That's impactful. We need to get There's rid of those white bits. Up. Yeah, the bit of glue, yeah. 
get the pliers This is where I've that. had glue on it previously, so I need to get those off. But other than that, I am absolutely... That's like, if you want show stopping, I mean... Yeah. Which that's I do. Proper explosion of and wood, isn't it? And in fact, we need another one here coming up. Coming a bit more height here. Yeah. 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 And then that can um, lock in all of the, um, the peace lily, yeah. the ferns and things. Spot on. Oh my goodness, let's do this. Do so again. yeah, I think... It might need to be bigger, I don't know. Oh, it's going to work though. <laughs> it looks like a... Oh my goodness, it's a triceratops. Come here. Triceratops. There's its mouth. Oh wow. And then boosh, boosh, <laughs> yep. the triceratops tank. I like it. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Maintenance might be a bit of a pain, but... You just take the lights off, don't you? Slide yeah. them in a bit. I don't do maintenance, what are we talking about? <laughs> wow, look at that. It's probably the most amazing hardscape I've ever seen. And as you come around, look, you can see that... Uh, there's, there's actually a lot of space. There's a lot of space. The fish aren't, like, massive, you know. Um, but this is what I'm liking the most, in and out of all of these areas. Uh, I need to either get rid of that or stick some... Something over it. Something over it. Yeah. Right, we're now going to spend ages gluing all of this to the rock. Uh, we're going to use... Some cyanoacrylate super glue gel. Superfisher sent me this massive pot, so I don't have to spend a fortune on uh, the gorilla stuff anymore, but it's exactly the same. I think, uh, I think we've possibly outdone ourselves here. Whoa! <laughs> it looks so great. That's all glued in and everything as well. Um, Matt, come stand there so that I can put this on my Instagram. It's like, no, no, no. Oh, what, you want it here? That, a little bit more, there you go. But that is nuts, isn't it? It looks great. It looks like a proper broken tree stump that's just like... That's what I wanted. Fallen like, in. Yeah, exactly, that's what I want, yeah. Just like it's proper, just not too far. I mean, it, yeah. I think we naturally do sort of think about it. Yeah. But Oh, you will. But I like that... I don't think usually people would use that curved piece as well as all the straight pieces, but yeah. that would happen. That's it. That's, that's the branches that are above water. That one's grown round something. At some point, that's had a rock and it's had to grow round it. That's the sort of thought process. Or it's just perfectly lodged there. And the reason it's lodged there is because it's the yeah. perfect fit. Otherwise, it would have washed down. Because you'll find that, obviously, places like this, when you look at a lot of rainbow fish from the lakes and things, they probably gather round structures like this. A bit like they do in the... Well, not rainbow fish in the sea, but a bit like sea fish gather round a certain rockscape because it gives them cover yeah so they would you know if there's a fallen tree you'll probably find the life around that tree will be far more concentrated than out yeah. in the open yeah yeah i think you're right i mean this is all us just taking a guess but anyone yeah. from australia and seen the rainbow fish i'm yep. sure you can do they hang around more near structures like its own freshwater reef I mean, there's safety there, isn't there? Yeah. You can just, you can dart in gaps, so. I suppose it depends on the predators. If there's a lake with no predators, they don't really need to be scared. Are they lake, are they? Uh, most of them are lake. There's a few, there's a bit of both. There's river and lake rainbow fish, so. Okay, yeah. um, so me making it like a river is not completely wrong. Yeah, but they're all bred in captivity anyway. So, yes. <laughs> you know, they're, they're used, to, used to vats where they're bred, I expect. So <laughs> this is probably really nice for them. <laughs> okay, next up, we're gonna need to start doing some planting now. I've got a load of plants that I've saved out from, obviously I've taken apart all these tanks you can see in here. I've tried to keep as many, um, I don't know what I'm looking at, there's nothing to look at, but. <laughs> Empty glass boxes. I've Potential tried to... <laughs> is what you're That's looking what we're looking at. <laughs> Um, I've kept a load of plants. We've got some really cool plants. I want to green it up. Why not? I mean, rainbow fish and their colours pop really nicely against the green, so that's what we're going for. We just had a thought. Um, we haven't actually put in any sort of detail and gravel stones. Does that make sense? Yeah, like... Yeah, gravelly. Yeah. Scatter. Scatter, we, that's the word. <laughs> so we've just been in our boxes outside and I've picked up this stuff here, some of that. Yeah. And then Matt's got, got a little bit of that. A little bit of the darker stuff as well. So mix them together, just chuck it about a bit. Yeah, because you've got dark and light stones in here, so that will just mix in with yeah, it. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah. Because at the moment it's like completely bare. You would, you'd have a, diff, a bit more of a variation than those to that, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bet gravel in the summer, I love it. <laughs> when I met you in the summer. Right, and as usual, all we want to do Matt's is singing. <laughs> Matt's, as usual, Matt's singing. And we just want to launch it all in. Look at that, that looks so good. It does, doesn't We've it? We've mixed about four different substrates here to try and get the variations in colour. And it's worked so... Oh, take that. It's worked so well. I'll be honest, I think that's it, isn't it? When you're looking at rivers and lakes, they are going to be such a varied sort of gravel and sizing. It's, that's how you make them look natural. Yep, just mix it up. Yeah. Unless you want to go for a more sort of 
clean and contemporary look. Well, um, that's it. Sometimes you just want, you know, black gravel or something like that, and you've just got to make that decision, haven't you? A lot of people really like just pure white sand. Um, it always starts off nice, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks beautiful for the first four or five weeks. And then after that, <laughs> it doesn't. Unless you constantly vacuum and stuff, which is not something I do. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it gets any more natural than that. I can do accents, me. <laughs> <laughs> as, long, as long as they're the guy from Austin Powers. Oh my goodness, Matt. Any reason for that all going over the floor? Um, because the, you gave me the bag and not a pot and it does this. Fair enough. There we go, looking sweet. I was just saying to Matt, I'm not sure if we've overdone it, but then like he said, that is rivery, yeah. you know? And that's what we wanted to go for. Plus there's gonna be plants everywhere in this, isn't there? So. Yeah, there's water and the water will mix the grains in. So you'll get some of that sand popping through. You'll get it mixing in. So, and there's no water in it. It looks a little bit stark at the moment, but once the water's in there, it'll change its dynamic as well. Let's, uh, let's get planting, Matt. We've got so many plants. I'm going to put them out on the table so we can just show them all. So here is the plant selection. A load of Java ferns. We've got the Windelof. We've got Narrow. I think that's it, Matt, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they all look like that. Some nice little bits of Anubius. This is Aereo Kaolon Vietnam. I just had to look that up. It's uh, very similar to Blixa Japonica. Um, I found it easy to grow actually, but you've got quite a few sprigs of that for detail. A little bit of Monte Carlo, a ton of dwarf sage that's really mature and nice and long as well. That's going to be looking great, isn't it? In that's going to look good. Like in the flow and that. Is she here? Yeah, she's here. She's yeah. coming later. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Every video. Uh, <laughs> a sword, why not? Because it was growing in another tank. This is not a biotope by any means, so no. we can just go it's with just, anything. Yeah, it's whatever's kicking about, isn't it? Exactly. You might as well reuse it. Yeah. We've got some uh, Rotala Hra. We've got some different Ludwigias and bits and bobs, and it's all going to look good, and it's all going in the tank right now. Right, Matt, we can choose our weapons. Uh, I'm just going to go with the normal tongs. What are you after? These ones. <laughs> I got, um, I got all these superfish, I got them from superfish, so all the massive ones, because Kate's going to be helping and she doesn't oh. like putting her hands in the water. Yeah. So I got all, all, all I like, I <laughs> think, <laughs> yeah, see, if I had double of them, I just need two, like, sheaths. Yeah. <laughs> like a ninja turtle. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Right, I'm going to go for smaller ones down the bottom here. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. looking special and spectacular is it not Matthew? Oh, it looks amazing doesn't it? I think so like, all the way around. You. We've kept it quite simple we've just gone for like real easy plants but it gives that sort of natural green vibe if you start going full colourful I think we'll use that use or lose 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 yeah. that like sort of natural look not too many epiphytes either just a few little bits of detail so we can still see those amazing pieces of wood and remember there's going to be room up here for the peace lilies and everything in this section as well. So yeah, there's loads of options, but it's time to fill it up. It's fill up time because these plants are drying out. Yeah, this, yeah, we need to spray them, don't we really? Yeah, we haven't sprayed them once. Always spray your plants. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're thinking boost. I've got so much boost I've ordered in. I was going to do a boost only tank. Actually, no, I've got even more down here. <laughs> so this is my old Tropica supply, but I've got a load of Aquafluor ones I'm going to do on a separate tank of its own. So I think if we just use all of those, Matt. All of them? Yeah. All right, <laughs> you know what I'm like, yeah. all of everything. Yeah, that's good. We are filled up. Matthew's just debubbling. 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 With the debubblerizer. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a net. She she's gone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> fil <laughs> filters all hooked up, ready to go. Inlet and outlet in place. It's nothing left to do but turn it on. Some really decent flow there. This is the Awaze 
850, is it, Matt? It looks like an 850, Biomaster, yeah, it's really tall. Yeah, Biomaster 850. Now, lots of people are gonna say, oh, if you put holes in it, it goes fast to flow. And all. No, 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 I was just saying with Matt, if you just clean the pre-filter yeah. once or twice every other week or something like that, the flow stays just as good as that. Yeah. I don't need a filter to flow fast than that. If you want faster flow, then you need to get something for flow, which is a power head, something like that. Exactly, um, listen yeah. to that. You, you eh? almost know what you're talking about. <laughs> just repeating stuff that I've heard. I suppose that's the same as learning, isn't it? Yeah, that is pretty much <laughs> learning. Yeah, that is the definition of learning. <laughs> But I really like it. That's plenty of flow. You know, like Matt saying, these fish are actually from lakes, not river. So they're yeah. not, I mean, they like a bit of flow though, don't they? Yeah, that's it. You know, fish, fish like oxygenation and things like that. We can't recreate a lake in a fish tank really. So yeah, you do need flow and filtration to help them. I think we nailed it there though. Loving that. Right, I just need it all to clear. I'm gonna put some AccuClear in now. Just that'll be solid. Well, crystal clear is what I mean, not solid. That's the opposite of what we want. Um, we're gonna go to the pub and have lunch. And by the time we come back, We'll be drunk, no, um, <laughs> it'll be like, it'll be like gin, the no, water. Yeah, <laughs> we're, yeah, we're, we're, not, having, we're, we're not, not having gin, gin. people now. Um, Sometimes. Hang on. I, I, I am partial to a gin. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, definitely, I can get on board. Are we oh. missing something? Oh yes, the epiphytes, uh, no, the top plants. The top plants, which are epiphytes, I suppose, in a way. Yeah, true, okay, right, we'll put those in now. <laughs> I'm not sure. Are you sure? Um, no. I don't, tricky one. I don't think it's adding to the scape. I think it just looks like something plonked on top. But let's be honest, is that not how it would look? Yeah. At the edge, it is, it is isn't it? Yeah. Once the javas grow up around it and you get some more growth on there. I think we, we might as well go with it. It's not taken away from the tank. If I just want to film the tank, it's there, but it's also some nice plants. If anything, it's going to be massively functional because all these roots are just going to pull a ton of nitrates out. Yeah, I think so. You want to keep it? I think I want to keep it. Yeah. Like come the other side. Yeah, I think we go with it. Yeah, just give it a chance. Give it a chance. It looks darker than out of the tank, but that's because it auto adjusts. But yeah, nah, from this angle, I'm liking it. It's just, it's because we got, I think it's because I got used to looking at the tank without it, and then it yeah. was like, oh, what's this? But you can just keep it, treat it as its own thing, can't you? That's it. I think it's quite good when you're standing back as well to have that re coming out of the tank. It is just a little bit more, yeah. Cool. All that's left now is to wait for it to clear, fish can go in. Right, it's now the next day and Matt is coming in early before work today so we can put the fish in. Um, the lights aren't on on any of the tanks at the moment, but from what I can tell, it's so, so clear. Yeah, like I say, it's very early, but look, <laughs> it's like there's no water in it. But yeah, you, can see, you can see by the way that the uh, plants are moving, that there obviously is. Come around this side. You can see all the way through. Oh, the setup has worked a treat. Yeah, this side as well. This side's got more sort of darkness. Why don't I just put the light on? Okay, and now I have to work out what does what. Yay! Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, that is looking so good, isn't it? Uh, yeah, definitely love the top part as well. Um, it will have some sort of more greenery, greenery around this area. I'm gonna add in some hydrocotyl Japan, I think, because that'll grow right up out of the water and into it. It just merged the two areas really, really nicely. But I'm also thinking down the bottom here, we need something else, not plants, but like a bit more botanicals. At the end of the day, we're going for a real natural vibe and there would be bits of, you know, debris, leaves, twigs, that kind of thing down the bottom there. And over here in the MD shop, <laughs> I've got loads of different leaves and botanicals and things. And up here behind the computer desk, I've got like twigs and stuff I've collected whilst out on walks of things. And just a little bit of detail around the big thick wood makes it look really realistic. Yeah, okay, there's an idea. That's what I'll do. I'm going to prepare all of that and put it all in so that when Matt comes in and sees it for the first time since we first set it up, remember yesterday, it was all covered in bubbles and everything. It didn't look anything like as good as now. So add those extra details as well. And I think he'll love them. He loves a realistic look. And uh, it should be a great environment for the rainbow fish then. And we should see him colour up quickly and start behaving really cool as well. Okay, so I don't want too many. I've got this funny thing. <laughs> Just a few leaves. Yeah, I'm not 
So the thing. leaves have now been sat for like half an hour. You can see they've sort of sunk in the water, which means they, oh, that's <laughs> way too foggy. I'll give it a sec. Yeah, and it means that we can now just put them in and they should go straight to the bottom. Now, I'm not putting too many. I don't really want to tint the water very much. Um, if you're worried about tinting from botanicals, you can add Purigen or something like that to your filter and it just pulls out all the darkness. But a little bit of tint won't be too bad, I don't think. Um, I'm going to need to do water changes at some point because this wood will leach some tannins. I mean, it hasn't overnight, which is quite a good sign. It's all wood I've used before, so hopefully there's, there's nothing to come out of it. Okay, I've got the leaves. I'm not going to be too specific on where I place them. Just sort of dot them, let them, they're gonna flow about a bit, look. <laughs> That's just the nature of the, uh, the filter being like quite fast flowing, but they'll, look, there you go, they're settling where they want. A couple of bits down here, get caught up in between plants and things, won't they? Oh, how about that nice big pod look in this area? A few more bits down here. That's it, just a little bit of detail. Obviously we want some on this side as well. The flow is on this side though, so it might, it might struggle a little bit to get caught up. And we also want to have some of the sticks as well, look. Oh, look at that. So I find that if you put sticks in, like smaller sticks in with big pieces of wood, you tend to get a real sort of natural look. Get these to go down a little bit more. Fan them up a little bit. And now we've got a seriously natural vibe going on, haven't we? It's like that would have got caught separate from that. It's just a sort of junction point in the lake or river where the flow has caused it to, to lock in. Just adding some to this side as well, trying to make it a little bit subtle so it's not right in your face, but still has that sort of obvious look about it. Oh no, I've just pulled up a load of Monte Carlo. <laughs> and I got some of that Hydrocottle Japan for this, uh, top section up here. That'll grow all around the roots and out, up out of the water. I'm not actually planting it on anything, I'm just sort of hooking it around the wood. And a bit on this side as well. Flow should take it everywhere, all the way across the tank. It will just grow in and, in and amongst all these little bits of wood and that, it looks so good. And the out of water, I know how well this grows out of water, so I'm keeping a little bit above. Uh, that'll keep it moist, but it'll grow right up out. <laughs> that looks so good. All that is left to do now is wait for Matt to arrive. I think he's gonna absolutely love it, to be honest. It's just like the icing on the cake of everything. Okay, Matt's here, he's just knocked. He's just getting mic'd up. Um, when you've plugged it in, Matt, you can speak and we can hear you. We can hear you, Matt. Do I need to do a mic check from outside the door? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can come in. I want your reaction. I want a real genuine reaction because it looks so good. Can I come in now? You can. I've done a mic check from outside the yeah, door. Yeah, I know, yeah. yeah. Wait, what are you thinking? Oh. Looking good, isn't it? Are you proud of our work? Yes, I've added some things. Nice. Yeah, I knew you'd like it. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> I've been filming all morning, been telling everyone what I've been doing. So like we said, I've added the hydro I was say, yeah. To tight in. I've added little sticks against the big wood. Nice. For that detail, keeping in with the sort of flow. Yeah. The botanicals. Yeah, the leaves look good. And, and then I've gone for like a different vibe this side with the, with the sticks look. Lots more and thin. Oh, wow, yeah. It's a little bit different. And then more hydro pan at the top. The cool thing is, it's like almost two different tanks. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Like, like, yeah, you look at both sides and they are, yeah, just different. It's really cool. The fish are not going to know which side to go on. No, that's it. Do we prefer this side or that side? <laughs> and Matt, you've bought us a uh, present, haven't you? Yeah, I bought us some Amanos. We've got 20? 20, 20? Ish. 20 years. It was, it was is, is he coming, is he? Yeah. <laughs> Ishmael. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, okay, that's perfect because there's all of this wood and everything has got stuff on it. All the plants are from other setups. So there's loads of biofilm. There's loads of things for him to pick at. Um, let's stick them in the top so they can get temp acclimated. Acclimated. And whilst they're doing that, we can go and uh, pick, uh, fish out the fish. So scoop out, what am I saying, Matt? Fish up. <laughs> We're gonna get the fish. We're gonna go get the fish, yeah. Which are in the other studio. Yeah. Um, we just, I just need your help capturing them because they're so fast. <laughs> Professional. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Matt is already working away. So yeah, the water's a bit disturbed, so it was clear and we had an internal filter. We've taken that out, but this is where the fish have been stored. We've still got a few at the back there. I'm not really showing anything because it's so murky, but <laughs> <laughs> You get the idea. So we've got loads of corys, we've got skunk corys, we've got Venezuelan oranges, we've got ottos, and we've got all of the angel, no, not angel fish. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got all of the rainbow fish as well. And there's a few um, bristlenose plecos as well. Oh, look at that cut on Matt. 
I don't think we've addressed this in this video yet. If you see Matt covered in cuts, <laughs> it's because he, he went head over heels oh, yeah, in, yeah. Uh, on his bike yeah. and the chain snapped as he pressed. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a good wasn't a good day to be honest. Yeah. <sighs> Is it still sore? Uh, nah, not really. It's what, not yeah, that bad. It was just your it's just your bruised ego. Yeah, it was my ego that was hurting. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing more embarrassing than when you either fall over in public or come off your bike. That's the thing. The first thing I was, I was like, no, no one saw me. It's okay. <laughs> oh, right, okay. It's okay. No one was there. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah, it did hurt. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Professionals are here. You got everything, yeah? I think so. Okay, yeah. sweet. Um, I was just saying to Matt, the uh, the Amanos are in here. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. Look at those flecks everywhere. That's all babies. Oh, like wow. thousands yeah. of babies have, have hatched in there. Not a single one will survive. Yeah, look um, at that. You can actually see them, can't you? You can see their sort of little tail. Yeah, they flick about here, there and everywhere. Um, I'm happy just to cut that bag and put them in, Matt. Yeah. Fully trust your processes at the shop and everything. It's all good. Um, then go straight in. Let's do that now. Cut it. I mean, there's not really another way of doing it, is there? Are you not going to set up a brackish tank for the babies and try and grow them on? And... <laughs> oh my goodness, I have read about that. <laughs> Sounds like impossible. Yeah, it's not. I don't think it's an easy process. I'll tell you what, it's good food for the rainbow fish. Yeah, exactly. Goodbye. Enjoy your new home. Right, and now for the main event. Um, let me get the camera set up and everything because we want an awesome shot of the release, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> right, in going first is our cleanup crew. We've got a Siamese Al Firefox. Yeah, or Al I think they're the same thing. We've got a load of, uh, we've got two bris three bristle nose plecos, one massive albino one. Yeah. Uh, and then a load of Otisynclus as well. So that's a good little cleanup crew for this. Oh, there's two albinos actually. Yeah, there is, there's two females. But yeah, the flying fox, he'll just help with a bit of hair algae if you get it. Do you want to get out or? No, he wants no. to stay in there, I like Sam. Oh, I'm going in with hands. Come on, you. In you go. And in you go. Yay! We've got the Corys next. Yeah. And a couple of Ottos. Whoa, those skunks are <laughs> looking big. They're chunky, aren't they? Like when they're out in the open like that, oh, that's awesome. Okay, and now for all the rainbows. Whoa! <laughs> In you go, all good? Yeah, they're looking great. Yes. Uh, all the temperatures, guys, that these just come from are the same as this whole room, so we're all good in that aspect. Okay, we're getting some initial what the hell is going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of like decoloration. De <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because just a minute ago they were like fully bright, so as you can see here, look, there's not a lot of colour, but it's not going to take long at all, I can already see. So this is the main dominant male, isn't it, Matt? Yeah, that's the main Bosmani, yeah. Oh, what Bosmani. a beaut. Oh, they've already gone around the back. These guys just came from all around the back. And there's the, there's the other Bosmani. It's going to come around. Is he going to come around? Come on, come around. That'll be a hell of a shot. <laughs> oh, is he still? Oh, there he is. Yeah, yeah he's, he's coming. coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Because we've gone for this peninsula, um, even though it's triangle, triangular composition, we still kept that gap at the back, which means that you know they're just going to keep doing that. <laughs> The rainbow roundabout. <laughs> no, no. I can't even call it. Now that you're telling me that most of them aren't from rivers, um, I'm not even going to call it a river anymore. That was. I was well, almost like it must be. It's mixed rivers. up. You'll find that there's some. There's a variant. So you get like well, like Lake Katubu, obviously a lake one, and then you get um, what's the river one you had? You had a river one in here. I can't remember which one it was. But yeah, there's a river species in here that's got river in the name. I can't remember. After you tell me the names of them almost all of them gone from memory instantly, except for the Parkinson's. Where's the Parkinson's? He's here. He's got some great colours. Yeah, he's got some bright orange in the fins. Uh, he's already coming out then. Yeah, yes. looking good. That's good. I reckon the colours in this will be better than I've ever seen yeah. once they've settled in. Especially with the lighting and the planting and yeah, I think it's going to be good. And you'll probably find there's a bit more, there's a bit more territory. So now you've got the two sides to it. Yeah. In theory, there's multiple territories for the males. Right. So I think it will get on, yeah, better. How, how difficult are these guys to actually breed? Um, to get them to breed, it's not that tr tricky, really. I've seen them breed in the shops before. Um, but actually, we've got some southern blue eyes that breed on a regular basis in the shop at the moment. Um, but it's getting the babies to survive is the hardest thing. Ah, so obviously, right. they're, they're an egg scatterer. So you're, if you're leaving them in a community tank, you're just hoping <laughs> that yeah. some will find a place to survive. That's usually my way. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. And if you're, if you're concentrating on it, though, in theory, you could do it fairly easily. 
you'd almost have to separate a pair, wouldn't you? Probably, yeah, a pair or a trio, depending on the species, and then setting up the tank for them so that the eggs don't get eaten straight away. Um, so having some, you know, big rocks that the eggs can drop through or something like that. There's, there's so many different species of rainbow fish that there's probably different ways of breeding each individual one. And um, like if I've seen people use a lot of moss, would that be like a great, not moss actually, it's like a, it's like a fake moss thing. Yeah, so they do spawning mops. That's so it, that's you'll the find, one. yeah, then they'll, some species will go in amongst the spawning mop and then the eggs will stick to the spawning mop. And this would be in the morning, yeah, when these guys are really like brightly coloured, I'm Normally, guessing? Normally, yeah, yeah, that's when the males are showing off, so. It's, um, again, it's so tricky because they're a massive group. They're, obviously, rainbow fish is very much like tetra or cichlid. It's I a see. massive group of different species. So, yeah, you'll find there's probably different ones. I've never really sort of researched into all of them. I know a few of them and how they breed, but there's probably so many different types of breeding behaviour. Yeah. It would just be working out what species you've got and what way they do it. I'm really pleased with this. It's just like any tank. It never really comes to life until you've got fish. I'm over this side. I've not even come round. Yeah, I was going to say. I've not even not seen, seen the other side. side too. Oh, whoa, there we go. Okay, so right, at the moment you can see that they're, hang on, let me get the black screen behind me. They're actually swimming in the flow, aren't they? Wheel are over, Matt. Yes, they are swimming with flow. <laughs> Uh-oh, nope, we're all good. <laughs> Where am I going? See, this is why I bought this. Um, no, come here, come behind me. That's it. There we go. Now we can see everything. Look at that. So obviously the, the Oase is just blasting out there and they, they actually love it, look. They like sort of dance in and amongst it. So that's perfect, Matt, because they've got different areas where they can do different things. Yeah. They can chill out around the other side, yep. or they can just get blasted in the face when they want it. This one's colouring up lovely already, I have to say. Yeah, it's almost like a oh, river yeah. and lake set up in one. You've got the yeah. river on this side flowing, and you've got the lake with the slower flow around the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. And then they can just do the roundabout thing if they want as well. Absolutely. They can just chase each other. Look at that, the colours, the colours are coming through. They really are. That Parkinson's has got way more orange now. Yeah, even some of the yellows look. Just starting to get his coloration. Yeah. So see the yellow and the orange coming back through now. And this is actually like the perfect time usually for their colours, because what are we at? Like half eight? Something yeah, something like that. like that, isn't it? Yeah. Well now I've come. Oh look, look, there, there we go. Look at the colours. I'm I'm so attracted to the Bosemani every time. Yeah. Like I just I don't know, I just think they look great. And I'm gonna that, have to try and get you some fire reds. What, is that like those, but even more? Yeah, they're like orangey red on the back end rather than yellow. Oh, we yes, had an please. amazing group. We tested out a group from a new supplier and they were amazing colours, but they sold out in about three days after coming out of quarantine. So, yeah. Okay, I'll, well, ne next time... I'll give you a shout. Just let me have one. I just, just, just one, because if you have too many, yeah. then it loses its specialness, I think. Yeah, so yeah. One, one of them like that. And like I said to you the other day, Matt, the, um, you know, I've obviously... A lot of the fish have gone back to you, but I was straight away, I was like, well, I've had this group now and I've been growing it and sort of getting different ones. And yeah. I, didn't, I, I wasn't ready for these to go back. And this was one of the main tanks that I kept having in my mind, um, as well as obviously the one behind you as well, oh, with yeah. the 60 uh, female better fish, which is doing great. There's not, they're all settled in. I think we spoke about that earlier, didn't we? But We did, yeah, yeah, yeah I think yeah. so. Oh, look, oh, I've got this really cool thing here, the rainbow. Well, does it come around here, look? Refraction, is it? Oh yeah, yeah, where well, you've got to, yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, they're all chilling out on this, this side now, look. They're on the lake side now. Oh, it's because yes, I was over the other side with this massive camera. Yeah, that's it. Look, you watch them all move now. Yeah. <laughs> One eyeball looking at them. I think we can call this a massive success. Like, oh, yeah. It's proper natural looking, isn't it? Yeah, the twigs and the leaves have just finished it off as well. That, yeah, looks great. Looks like the proper bottom of a river or yeah, I love it. Lake. Yeah, or lake. Depends which side you're at. That's it, lake, <laughs> river. <laughs> um, complete contrast to obviously the other tank, which is more of a pretty, you know, designer aquarium, if you like. Whereas this is more chuck it all in, let it land where it wants to land. I mean, it was a bit more specific than that, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> doing us a little bit of a discredit. But... It's a bit more rugged, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I love that though. I absolutely love that. Because it means you, you don't have to be so like anal about everything moving forwards either. You can let there get a little bit of algae in certain places, a bit of detritus and grime building up and it will just look more and more real. Yeah. It's as your leaf litter breaks down and the twigs break down, you can replace them with new ones yeah. and you just end up with that sort of build up really, that ecosystem style build up. So this has been an awesome and fun build. Thank you very much, Matt. Um, Always a pleasure. Yeah, I, well, I mainly asked you to come because I know how much you enjoy it as well. Yeah, yeah, so it's absolutely. Kind of, it's kind of like for both of us just to have fun. Anyway, there's going to be a long sort of cinematic now of the tank. Loads of you just click off when I stop talking for some reason, <laughs> but some of you actually want to see the tank and the fish. I think it would be a bit of an injustice just to click off now. So for those of you interested, 
here's the tank only and not me. Or you. Or me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>